In this video, we're going to walk through running an import of your events. This same process can be used to import venues and organizers. So starting from the events import page in your WordPress dashboard, we're going to first select an import origin. When you first install the free version of the events calendar, you'll be able to import events, venues, and organizers from a CSV file automatically. If you'd like to import from other sources, you can buy event aggregator. So we'll go ahead and select CSV file and give our import a name. And we'll select the content type, which in this case is events. From here, we can upload our CSV file. We'll go ahead and click preview. And this will give us an overview of what our event data is going to look like when it's imported. You'll see at the top that we can select what type of data each column represents. I'll go ahead and select the correct data type for each column. Now that we've gone through and ensured that the field type matches the column data for all of the columns in our import, we'll go ahead and set the status of these events to published. And we'll not add any additional categories at this time, although you can choose to do so. And finally, we'll click import all. This will start processing the import. You'll then see a progress bar at the top of your screen notifying you that the import has started. You can safely navigate away from this page and the import will continue processing in the background. Once the import is complete, you'll see a notice showing how many events were imported and how many new categories were created. You can now go to the History tab in your import section and see that this import has run successfully. Keep in mind that you'll also have some options in the Imports tab of your event settings. The Event Update Authority option will allow you to choose what happens to existing events when a new import is run. If an import contains data for an event that already exists on your site, you can choose to overwrite the existing event with changes from the import. You can choose not to overwrite the event, or you can choose to overwrite the event except for any changes that you've made to the event on your website. In the CSV import settings section, you can also set a default status for imported events as well as a default event category. And finally, if you are using Event Aggregator, you can use the Disable Event Aggregator import section to stop all imports from running. However, CSV imports will still be available. If you're interested in importing events from other sources, such as Eventbrite, Google Calendar, iCalendar, ICS Files, Meetup, or another site that's using the events calendar, be sure to check out Event Aggregator. Thanks for watching.